Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Ryan here, and uh, welcome to Doki 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 Literature Club. Um, this, this appears to be one of those like uh, Japanese dating sim kind of games. So I don't really know what to expect. Um, I just been requested like hell to play this game. Uh, so yeah. Um. I've never played one of these, like, Japanese dating games, except if you want to count the John Cena dating simulator. But, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a disclaimer that this game gave me a four. It said not for people who are uncomfortable with, like, depression and stuff. So, uh, I guess I'll put that disclaimer in the description as well. And, uh, just see what that's about, I guess. But it looks pretty instant at the beginning. I haven't watched any playthroughs of this yet. I haven't touched this game. I'm going in blind. So, uh... Hopefully it's good. I'm hoping it's interesting. But a lot of people want me to play it. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. I'm, I'm warning you right now. I'll only have one girl voice like for everybody. And my regular voice. I'll just be me, I guess. So, I, I just made my name Ryan for simplicity. So, hey! I don't know who the fuck this is. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance. I'm actually gonna make this narrated by Joe Swanson. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air. She's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Yari, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but kind of just works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to take to the school together in like days like this, but I'm starting to walk around high. Oh, I'm so bad at narrating. Especially just once. I'll just narrate as myself. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would more oversleep more and more infrequently. I'd get tired of waiting up. What if she's going to chase me after like this? I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Ciari catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again! But I caught up to you this time! Maybe it'd be because I decided to stop and wait for you? And you say it like you were thinking about ignoring me! That's mean, Ryan! Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then don't. I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine! But you did wait for me after all! I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, Siari. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Ryan, have you decided on any club to join yet? Club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true! You told me you wanted to join a club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with what I was just talking about. Sierra so likes to worry about me a little too much when I'm perfectly content just getting by the average on spending my free time on games and anime. <clears throat> that game, that, that just struck home with me right there. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Uh huh. I was talking about how a worm man you won't learn how to socialize without having social skills for college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. This sounds like a very familiar conversation I had with somebody else. And I know you're happy now, but I died at the thought of you becoming a... Neat in a, in a few years because you're not used to the real world? The fuck is a neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I can promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relate to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to use her mind a little bit. Even though she does exaggerate things inside of her own mind. The school day is as ordinary as ever, but it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I start blinking at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. 
Sierra wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori! Sayori wants to come in the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm not the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch up to you- oh, I thought I'd catch up to you outside the classroom, but I saw you were just sitting in here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so you thought, you, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. I'm an asshole, what the fuck? Eh? Eh? Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be a fun way to start, help start a new club. It'd be a fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the president proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Wow! That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki make cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sierra is really that much of an airhead or if she's just so cunning to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. But um, tishes. I dejectively follow Yuri across the school and upstairs. A section of school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Well, first off, bitch! Who are you? Ah, Ryan, what a nice surprise! Am I supposed to know who this is? Because I don't. Welcome to the club! All worlds escape me in this situation. This club... is full of incredibly cute GIRLS! Who wanna thunk? What are you looking at? If you wanna say something, say it. S -s sorry Not Suki... <laughs> <laughs> The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when, when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Azuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like Yuri no Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Ryan. Monica smiles sweetly. I ain't gonna lie, if I just smash one of them, it'd probably be that one. It'd probably be that one. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. She knows who I am already. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Woo! Woo! Basically, completely out of my league. Awesome. Thanks, game. You really make me feel good about myself. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come, sit down, Ryan. We made room for you at the table so you could come sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey! 
I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, sorry, I kind of got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? That was like a mixture of my voice and my girl voice. Apologies. The girls have a few decks arranged to form a table. As Siori mentioned, it's been widened, so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. As Suki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. What the fuck? Whiskers are dried with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs it first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full. Oh, sorry. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I'm sorry if I speak with a lisp, but I, I gotta go in between the girl voice and my voice quite frequently, so I gotta keep the lisp ready. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Asuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Make them for you or anything. Yeah, I, I, I thought you technically did. It's, it's, Sayori said. Well, maybe! But not for you, you, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki. Asuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us, before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. What? 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 The game froze? Re I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So basically I just said, uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay to keep this tea set in here in the, in the closet. It's fine. But Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So? So, what made you consider joining the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I just can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Siori is holding Monica's hand. Siori, fuck off. Monica is my bitch. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we'll all really grow this club before the gra before we graduate. Before the graduate. Good job, Ryan. Perfect. Right, everyone? Yeah! 
we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Ryan, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way to answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Nasuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Uh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. And anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the room of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh, really? The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. I love how every five seconds I have to swallow, so you're going to hear <coughs> as I have to do the lisp voice. Makes me have a lot of spit in my mouth. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination of to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. With The Rock Johnson? Anyway, really, I wouldn't have expected that of you, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Jamie, not now! I'm banging girls, man! I'm trying to smash! Well, I just... Asuka's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right! You just like to write cute about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You have to be the scrapper behind last club meeting. It looks like you're working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, oh, okay. Siori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Stirring that level of writing makes it more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, you, Yuri? Maybe you should share some of your work. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh... I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I want to read everyone's poem. Sayori, write your own poems and come talk to me. Ma'am, you're just being a nosy bitch right now. We all sit for silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Eh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we'll meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everybody is even. Um. Uh, yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Ryan? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. 
I think I'm in, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm into her skirt, you know? I'm into her pantaloons. A little get in there, a little action. A little, uh... Hold on, there's, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I, I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh... I lose my train of thought. Oh! They all look so sad! Especially Monica. I don't want to make Monica sad. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... Come on. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Ryan. Y you all... I'm, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-head decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided that. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Siori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then it makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, th thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that's it. We can officially end today's meeting on a good note. You everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Ryan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can it really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety lying up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Asuka clean up their food. Hey Ryan, since you were already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sierra and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for the clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Asuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to cloak closer to one of these girls. <laughs> Hopefully Monica. Oh, Alright. I'll just need to make up most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Huh. Well... I think I will end the first episode of Doki Doki Literature Club right there. Uh, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below. And uh, do you want me to continue this series? Or nah? <laughs> kind of just a Japanese dating sim. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you guys enjoyed watching the episode, make sure to leave a like, as always. And, uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, perhaps more Doki Doki in the future. Uh, yeah. I guess we will be back next time. Goodbye! What the fuck am I playing?